Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. I want to do a comparison today. I want to do a comparison on two different groups doing the song Love Hurts. I love the song Love Hurts. Now, Love Hurts was written about 1960 by a gentleman by the name of Budlo Bryant. The first group to record this song was the Everly Brothers. They recorded it in 1960. They released it on an album called A Date with the Everly Brothers, which came out in October of 1960. Now, the song Love Hurts that appears on that album was to be released as a single. But the Everly Brothers were having an issue with their manager and publisher, who went by the name of Wesley Rose. And they kind of broke apart, stopping the release of the single Love Hurts. So it'd be kind of interesting to know how Love Hurts by the Everly Brothers would have charted on Billboard Hot 100 singles chart. We'll never know. Well, I looked up on Google. I wrote, I typed into Google cover versions of Love Hurts, and I got a list that's phenomenal. I mean, there is so many groups and, and individual artists that have covered this song. It is amazing. So I thought, well, let's go with the one that actually charted on Billboard's Hot 100 singles chart and did very, very well. And that was a version recorded by a Scottish hard rock group called Nazareth. Now, Nazareth uh, did it like a power ballad and released it on their album, Hair of the Dog. So I, I really didn't have anything in my record collection by Nazareth until Love Hurts came out as a single. And I went, wow, I really like that. That is a great version of that song. So I bought the album Hair of the Dog and was blown away. It was like, this is a great hard rock album. I love this album. And I had to buy more Nazareth. Well, the song reached number eight on Billboard's Hot 100 singles chart. So it got in the top 10. And it's the only version that was recorded that reached that high on Billboard's charts. Now, this was a major hit, actually, for Nazareth globally. And it lasted, get this, 61 weeks on the Norway singles chart and did reach number one in Norway. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Um, now, they changed the lyrics. So when you listen to the lyrics, uh, there's a lyric in the Everly Brothers version. Now, I, I've never heard the Everly Brothers version, so I, I don't know where this actually is in the song. But it says, love is like a stove. It burns you when it's hot. And Nazareth changed it to this. Love is like a flame. It burns you when it's hot. So it changed st stove to flame. And after that, most cover versions used the Nazareth changed lyric. So let's listen to this. See how it sounds. I'm anxious to hear uh, Everly Brothers. I'm sure that's going to sound a whole lot different than the Nazareth version. So here we go. so far very very nice uh very minimalistic so far as well you know you got i think there's an acoustic guitar and electric guitar in there there's like a wood block uh for for kind of the the rhythm part of it there's a little bit of bass guitar but what really makes the everly brothers the everly brothers is the harmony on don and phil singing their harmony is just fantastic. And then they, if you listen real close, they add a little bit of echo on their voices. So it even sounds like there's more uh, vocals on this than there really are. But they have great harmony. This song sounds like an Everly Brothers song. I mean, it can't be anything but the Everly Brothers. They, they're the only ones that sound like this. Fantastic so far. I really like this version. Um, pretty laid back, pretty laid back. And like I say, very minimalistic in uh, instruments as well.
there's where the lyric uh, where they're talking about the stove it burns you when it's hot. So it's right in that that section of the song. Very cool. Play it again. Burns you when it's cold. Uh, take it back. Learned a lot. Really learned a lot. Love is right there. Like a stove. Burns you when it's cold. Love hurts. Some fools rave of happiness. Blissfulness. Togetherness. Some fools fool themselves. Uh, very, very nice version of that song. So this is the first time the song Love Hurts was recorded. And you, you can see, I mean, you can almost feel the 1960 sound. It's, it's a little bit more um, not in your face, more laid back, uh, more um, making you feel like you're, you're, you want to slow dance. A lot of slow dancing is going on back at that time. You know, you can feel they got their sneakers on with their long skirts and all kinds of stuff. We get the whole feeling of 1960 in this version of Love Hurts. But what's really cool about this is uh, Don and Phil's vocals just so well. They, they just harmonize so well together. And, you know, so many groups um, after them were... were felt like they they could do the same thing i mean they they had this feeling that this was like the best in harmonizing in 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 rock and roll music and so many other groups tried to uh take that and and put it into their own groups so i, I really like this this is really good i also like it too where they brought that guitar in um about halfway through the song where they had the guitar and it's just kind of picking chords that's that kind of added to it as well just really well done but it is very laid back, a lot different from what we're going to hear next from Nazareth. So let's get to the Nazareth version and see how they do a cover version of this song.
Uh, you just heard the changed vocal where he says, love is like a flame, it burns you when it's hot. Uh, it was just right before I stopped it here. So that's where they changed the vocals up and took the stove out of, out of the song. So they, they kind of uh, modernized it a little bit. But again, the, the music in this version, again, is very minimalistic. Um, you know, so they, they kind of played off the Everly Brothers version with uh, their version, with Nazareth's version, to keep the music um, more minimalistic and, and focus on the words of the song. And, and you, got, you, know, you got the guitar, and I think that's what really turned me on the first time I heard this song was that guitar playing and you know where he's just playing the rhythm chords all the way through this song then you got heavy bass and the drum comes in in the beginning too which again the everly brothers really didn't have that uh heavy drum in in their version they had more of i think it was more of a wood block if i remember but the drumming is so heavy in here so this is what makes it kind of a hard rock song a power ballad version of this song but the lead vocalist in nazareth He's got such a gritty, heavy voice. I mean, he just rocks on this song. His, his voice just powers this whole song. So, I mean, it overcomes the guitar, bass, and drum and, and really blasts out those lyrics and, and has a lot of emphasis on the voice, a lot of feeling, a lot of, you could almost say, pain in, in the vocal portion of this song that we really didn't hear in the Everly Brothers. The Everly Brothers was more about... Um, nice sounding vocals and and well produced vocals from the early 60s. While this one is like, I'm I'm in pain. You know, love hurts, and I'm I'm really in pain. And I'm gonna belt this song out, and you're gonna feel it too. I mean, that's that's I think the big difference between the Everly Brothers and the Nazareth version here. Plus, I, again, you know, Nazareth version is very very heavy electric, but his, the again the instrumentation is very minimalistic. So let's keep it going and see where we go. love that song i love that version of the song it is just so great um yeah i like the everly brothers that, that was cool you know uh little not that i've ever heard it before but it, it you could tell this was the everly brothers this is this is this is how they record their sound and 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 that's really cool i, I mean i think that's great Lo i did like their version but i don't think there's anything that competes with the nazareth version of love hurts <laughs> it's just so great that that heavy uh, 
drumming and bass in there is fantastic. It just kind of hits you in the heart. Uh, the guitar playing is just so smooth. I just love the guitar, the repetitive guitar notes on this song. I, that that's what drove drew me uh, or drew me into the song the first time I heard it. Has a very nice guitar solo in the instrumental break, which Everly Brothers didn't have an instrumental break in their version. So it has a nice guitar solo, and it's nothing wild. You not you know speed demoning up the fretboard at all. It's just a nice sounding uh, guitar solo that that fits the mood of the song itself. But the the best part of this song, the best part is the vocals. My gosh, this guy just could sing this song and put so much emphasis into the lyrics of the song and make you feel the pain that this person's feeling when they're singing about love hurts thought it was really great i mean i love nazareth uh they're they're one of my favorite heavy or hard rock groups from from the the uh the 70s they just did so many good songs so um I want to do uh, some more comparisons because there's just so many great cover versions out there that I've never heard by groups that I never thought did the song. So I thought it'd be fun to pick some more of these. Um, you know, uh, it, uh, so there, you, there's going to be another comparison of Love Hurts. Who is going to be the two bands that get compared? That I don't know yet, but there's a lot out there to choose from. So I think that's going to be fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the Everly Brothers doing the original version of Love Hurts from 1960, and then a cover version that charted really well for Nazareth here in the United States and pretty much around the world in 1976 from their album Hair of the Dog. And, um, you know, you might want to put into the comments which one you think is the better, or maybe they're both great in their own little way. So if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. That'd be really cool. If you've got any comments about the Everly Brothers, Nazareth, Love Hurts, put in the comments below. That'd be also very cool. I'm going to take the link to both of these videos and put it in my notes below. So you can go back and watch both of them if you'd like. You know, if you've never heard the Everly Brothers and you like that version, pick on that link. It will open up. You'll hear the Everly Brothers. If you're really grooving out on Nazareth, pick on the Nazareth link and watch this great version of it as well. I'm also going to put a link to both channels that uploaded these two videos. You might want to check out those channels and see what else they have to offer. Hey, have you subscribed to Driving With Todd? If you haven't, let's do it right now. If you've got my video open here, just go below my video and pick subscribe and you're in. I'd really, really appreciate it. That'd be so cool of you. And if you go over here, ring my bell, <laughs> you'll get an updates to my latest videos. So this is wonderful. I, I, I've been wanting to to do love hurts and i didn't know how to do it and i thought hey let's let's compare two versions and i think that was pretty neat to do that because both versions are so different but so well done it's just a, one of those songs you can't do bad it's just so well put together put a big smile on my face hope put a big smile on your face and peace out baby